Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of our tutorial series the unity beginner guide I hope you are having a good week and I hope you will have a wonderful weekend I hope you are doing very well and let's get started into this tutorial so in the last episode guys we have learned about another type of variables and it was game objects and we've seen that we can use game objects we can use camera we can use a lot of type of variables in unity and we are going to talk about them uh, more in detail in uh, the future uh, videos so in this video i want to switch from learning about variables into uh, something new and it is if statement so let me just go ahead and jump here to visual studio and this is the code we did right in the last time if you remember we created all these variables and stuff like this right so so this is this script we created uh, of course and those are the variables and everything we did before so in this episode i'm interested in explaining to you how we can use the if statement and what is the if statement so when you are creating your games or in real life there is always conditions right so when your friend asks you uh, will you go out with us tomorrow like to go uh, somewhere what you will uh, say to them uh, if the weather is good i will go out with you right so if there is time i will go with you if i'm interested i will do it so we have this if in our real life and so in game development or in coding in general there is a statement and conditions and stuff like this so we are going to talk about the if statement in this video it means we are going to see where we can use those if say those if uh, statements and how we can use them so let's say for the sake of just a simple example we are going to write if like this you do it like this and you close it just like this and inside of those two here we write the condition for our statement let's say your friend asks you will you go out with us tomorrow and your condition is if the uh, sky is clear for example <laughs> what i'm typing <laughs> so uh if let's, you get the idea right so we have to write our condition inside of those uh, brackets here uh, i have here an update again i did this update and there is another one i will do it later so let me just close this for now so let's continue so the if statement we need to give it a condition so let's do uh, a simple example so we can understand how we can use the if statement let's say i want to check if i did press the space bar in my keyboard right so this is the exam the example i will be using here if i touch the space bar in my keyboard so let's uh, translate this into code so uh, to get the input from my keyboard uh, and as i said before in the last episode in unity everything is easy so what do we want we want an input from our keyboard so i will do input just like this and here i have input i will do dot again and what do I want? Do I want a get key down or a get key up or stuff like this? So what I want in my example here, every time I press the space bar. So when I press the space bar, the space bar will be down, right? And when you release your finger from the space bar, it will be up. So I want the get key down. So when I press the space bar, so I will select get key down and inside of this I will open those one here and inside of it I will put the key code for the button that I want to click in my keyboard in my case I want to click the space bar so what I need I need the key code for this particular button in my keyboard so I need to do key code here just like this and i will do that and i want this space bar so 
here we have a lot of stuff there is up arrow and vw all your keyboard uh, your buttons from your keyboard in my case i want spacebar i will click on my spacebar just like this and now when i have my condition i will close my if statement when we want to close the if statement we put a curly bracket just like this and we need two of them like this so let me just click space here uh, another space so we can jump inside so as you can see here is the if statement in unity or in c sharp in general so we write the if here this is if and we open our bracket here just like this and inside of them we write the condition for our uh, statement here so in my case if i uh, press the space bar and you close this if statement and you open the curly bracket and inside of the curly bracket anything that you are going to write here will be executed if the condition is right okay so let's uh, write uh, something to execute right and as always all i'm going to do is just a debug.log so i will do debug. just like this as easy as i can and inside of this i'm going to write some uh, something very simple uh, hi i'm um, space bar just like this right it's cool and i will close it of course never forget to close any line you write in your code but you will notice with me and you will say why you didn't put a semicolon here right well because this is an if statement and if you notice with me every time we put the curly bracket we don't need to put uh, the semicolon because this here is considered as a block of code and so everything written inside those block of code will be executed at the same uh, at the same time one after another so when we start the game the first thing that starts is of course to uh, store this number in age and stuff like this and the code executed one line after another and so when we write this condition here it means that this code here is inside our if statement it means we are going to execute this line of code here the moment we met the condition we did put here inside of my statement so let's go ahead and give this a test so what uh, should the result be it should be uh, hi i'm spacebar every time i press spacebar in my keyboard so let me just save my code here and i will jump back to unity i will uh, go to the console here if unity will allow it okay thank you i will clear this place here i will click play okay and here i will click uh, inside uh, remember to click inside the game uh, window here don't click anywhere but to click inside the game screen here and now when i click space in my keyboard notice what will happen in the console area here so when i uh, press space i have hi i'm spacebar i will press space again we have hi i'm spacebar so every time i press space i will have this hi i'm a spacebar uh, message here so it means my code is working and we can use this just not like this but you can uh, use it in other ways but we are going to explain the other ways later guys so this is basically the if statement and we can add to our uh, if statement if we want more condition so let's say if input dot gets down uh, sorry <laughs> i I'm, uh, I'm reading the code here so if uh, let's say if i press spacebar i will have these meshes but what if i press my uh, arrow my up arrow i want another message we can do it and all we have to do is to do this else if again 
so it means else if so here we can put another condition so if i press spacebar i will have this message but else if i press another one it means if i press let's say the input dot get uh, key down i will open it like this key code and i want this time the up arrow i will just select it from here and here we have it and we are going to do the same we are going to open this like this and inside of here i will just do a debug dot log uh, quickly here and we are going to put a condition so i will say this time um up arrow just like this so let's just so we can keep it simple right and we can add more to this else if we, we can do this if else if else if else if as much as you want let's say if i click spacebar else if i click the up arrow else if i click the down arrow you can do this as much uh, as you want and if you want to add uh, one last one let's say uh, else condition so it's just else like this and we close it just like this so what does this mean we have an if else if and else it means if i press spacebar i will have this message and also if i press the up arrow i will have um up arrow and else it means everything else uh, okay guys so here we have three condition if i press spacebar i will execute this line of code and if and else if I press the uh, up arrow, I will execute another line of code. And else, it means if I didn't press uh, the space bar, and if I didn't press the up arrow, I will execute this code here. And let's say this time it will be something like I'm else. Okay, just like this. <laughs> I am else. It means that i didn't press space and i didn't press up arrow so what will happen in our code let's go ahead and see what's going to happen so this will be interesting guy so i will play uh, the, uh, here and i will click inside my game and you will notice i have these i'm else i'm else i'm else i'm else i'm else i'm else it's non-stop right what is happening guys here so let me just collapse those just like this so we can have all those messages inside one one message here so as you can see we have here a big number of messages showing up i'm else i'm else i'm else i'm else what does it mean let me stop the code here so i can show you it means that right now i'm not pressing space and i'm not pressing up arrow which uh, make our code execute directly the else condition and in our case it will never stop because we are using it inside the update code here the update function and as i said before this update will be called every frame in our game right so every frame my game check if i did press space bar if not it will check if i did press up arrow if not it will execute the else condition here which will be showing i'm else so this time i will go back i will clear this area here i will click play and notice with me it's showing this i'm else i'm else but when i click spacebar it will say how i'm spacebar and it will go back into showing me this i'm else i'm else i'm else and when i press the up arrow it will show there that I'm up arrow and when I move my finger from the up arrow it will be showing me this I'm else now you will ask me how can I use this in my game right so let's say you want a, your character to jump so every time you press your space bar your character will jump and every time you press this up arrow your character will move and else he will do nothing but he will just stay idle it means he will not move at all but if we are going to put an idle animation here in else it will be repeating itself uh, non-stop so in our case what we always do in unity 
is we don't use this else statement here and we also don't use this else if like this now you will say what what are you saying what i'm saying is we can use every if separated from the other one so we can just copy this line here command like this and copy it and inside here i can switch my space bar here into the up arrow and i can uh, give this this uh, move here so what what's going to happen in my code here it means uh, in my code <laughs> in my code here it means that in my update function every frame the game will update and every frame it will check if i did press space if i did press it it will jump and if i press the up arrow i will move if i don't press them nothing will happen so let me just go back here and clear this area and i will click play again and uh, this time i'm not pressing anything so nothing is happening if i press space i will have jump and if i press up arrow i will have move and this is basically how you can make your character move inside unity you can use this if condition here with this input that key get key down like space uh, up arrow down arrow left arrow right arrow uh, how you can shoot you can even add more condition you can do something like let's say i will copy this one here again and i will do something like this and inside here i want to shoot right so let's use uh, a key code to shoot in my example let's do uh, z okay let's shoot with z so here we have the z and inside my code here i will do shoot something like this so when i save my code here and i go back to unity i will clear this area again i will click play and basically we can press space to jump we can press up arrow to move and we can press z to shoot anyone in the game so this is how you can use the if statement i hope this was uh, really uh, easy guys and simple for you to understand in the next episode we are going to see more stuff and more uh, cool stuff about unity and by the end of those small videos uh, i hope they are small <laughs> and by the end of uh, those videos when we complete uh, explaining the basics of c sharp we are going to make a small and simple game that will uh, resume and uh, give a conclusion to everything we did learn in those tutorials so i hope you will stick with us guys i hope you like what we do subscribe if you're not subscribed yet like if you like what we do and i hope to see you guys in the next episode